Okay, okay, class. Settle down, settle down. For those wondering, joining my class for the first time, I'm called Professor Celia Lively, and I'm the youngest PhD holder from the University of Oxford. You might be wondering why I don't sound the Oxford way. Now, nah, as a strong African woman, I reject marginalization. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. They cannot bring that on me. So, I'll be taking you on Construction 101. And the topic of today is the history of construction craziness in Cameroon. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. Way, way back, before Netflix and chill, it is what he before moved. Shawarma, ah, before yeah, iPhones, yeah, before yeah. Ewusiba. <laughs> Remember, our topic for today is construction. So, back then, we had colonial conquerors. And by then, <laughs> think of the Germans. Think of the French folks. Think of the British man. They just came around with their blueprints. <laughs> They're like, let's change all these mud huts. Let's construct roads. Let's construct bridges. Well, we would in your a better action. But you go there. Then we have I want the old problems Jesus always. Natchiga. He came in, like I said, with his blueprints, his hats, and those lenses. He came and started buzzing everyone around. To him, he was a buzz. You know the way the Germans behave, right? I'm very stupid. Then we moved to post-colonial. That's after colonization, after all I the want other, problems, always. Right? A lot of things change. Not just the road. Cameroon had a lot of infrastructures. Like we talk of the hydroelectric dams. That's a check. We talk about five-star hotels. It's a check. It's not just all. We had a lot of architectural heritage that's mixing pre-colonialism during the colonial period and post-colonialism and then we cannot speak something where you don't know okay back to class of course there were a lot of bombs along the road we had corruption we had tribalism but that didn't still stop us it hasn't stopped us from inheriting all those architectural heritage so thank you for staying till the end. Like I said, we have to see you next week. For those who are not paying attention, they're going to meet me. See you in my next class. <laughs>